Okay, so this is a very quick video to show you how you can get your CC3 characters into Unreal 5. Um, at the moment, the uh, Real Illusion guys haven't uh, updated the auto setup for Unreal 5. I imagine that will probably happen soon. I think it'll probably be a fairly easy thing to do because the actual process for transferring your CC3 avatars seems to be quite painless. Um, basically, I get I work in 4.27, and I'm sure this will work in 4.26. Um, but I have all my uh, animations done already for this character. Um, let's see, some test ones here. Um, just in chatting or whatever. And you basically take the shaders folder, CC shaders, um, and your character folder. Uh, sometimes, well, if you do it by default, um, this will be the RL something or other. Um, let me just delete that. And in Explorer, which you can find it here, this is those. So I would select those two and I basically go to my UE5 content folder and paste them in there and you see them there. And as I was saying, I've already done all the animations that I need, but that, that doesn't really matter actually. Um, but I suppose it would be a good idea to get your first animation through there in, in 4.27 or 4.26 or whatever you're using. Um, so yeah, this is the CC setup icon. Uh, it's not yet in Unreal 5, but as you'll see, you don't really need it. Um, there are other methods. Um, you could in theory migrate and do all this and just select the other uh, Unreal 5 project and put it in that way. Um, but I found that this Windows Explorer way works so, and it's pretty easy for the moment. So I just do that. Okay, let me just open Unreal 5. Okay, here we have Unreal 5. And I'm gonna open another level. So I actually, yeah, did a basic level. This is him, he's already been imported in. Um, and as you see, uh, we have the character file and the CC shaders file here, down on the left. And all you need to do is pretty much just drag your guy in there. Speed up the camera, but it's a bit fast. It's, uh... And make use of Lumen or whatever. Um, now, the interesting thing about this is that I also found, let's just use uh, animation asset. What do we got here? This is his original animation. So I'm just running the simulation mode. Uh, and I found I could go to iClone and just uh, do a new animation and export it and bring it in into Unreal. I'll show you how, how I did that. But uh, it would be this animation. 
I'm not going to bother going through sequence, I'm just going to show you the simulation. So he's still chatting. And he's also got this weird animation going. Um, so I'll quickly show you that in iClone. Uh, so basically, in, in a nutshell, um, is that once you've you've sort of set up your character uh, in Unreal 4. Point whatever 4.27 or 4.26, um, you can uh, bring him over to UE5 and then use the same workflow that you would normally do to update your animations, uh, whether it's faster than migrating it, I don't know. Um, but it, it's good to know that it still works fine. Um, so I'll be probably moving some of my stuff over to UE5 and experimenting with that in the future. Your character is selected. Export. I'm exporting the animation only, um, so I'm not too bothered about this stuff. Uh, let's see, range. Uh, let's do 190 then to 400. Got our. Oh, we're still in um, simulate mode, so I can just press escape to get out of that. You can also go to it in Unreal 5 up here, start simulating, stop simulating. Uh, this is a good way to check out your, your animations if you don't want to go into sequencer and, and run the whole thing. Um, all right, so we now can import that animation. So I just right click here and import uh, and I search for the animation uh, which is scared jump. So you pick the FBX, not the JSON, and open it. Now usually when you, you have um, the auto setup, the Reillusion CC3 iClone auto setup, you would be prompted uh, as to what level quality of uh, character you want to bring in. Um, so basically what's in here at the moment is, is the high quality one, which is what I selected. Um, when I imported it into uh, my 4.27 version. All right, so I don't want to bring in a mesh. So I will just not have that selected um, and also this is gonna uh, use this skeleton for the original character um, and that's pretty much it i believe um, i do have uh, another tutorial on importing uh, or importing FBXs, or exporting animations as FBX into Unreal and importing them into Unreal. Uh, and I'll put a, a link on the top right. Uh, and this method, you avoid re-importing the whole mesh. So in theory, it should be a lot quicker. Yeah, this brings in two animations. Uh, one is the, I think it's just a reference with my open A pose. Uh, and this is the, the new animation. So you can see that's him doing his funny wiggle. That's the old one. 
and where is the original this is just the original just talking oops no it's not right get out of there buddy what's this one yeah so there you have it that's the uh, easy way to get uh your cc3 animated characters into unreal 5. hope you found that useful this is mr h makes signing off see you next time